Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2018 Toyota 4Runner Limited. This 4Runner is showing just over 44,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report, alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview on both the interior and the exterior of the vehicle, as well as showing you some of its most notable features. We'll start here in the exterior. Looking at the paint finish, you'll know that it's finished in black, but the paint actually has a really nice deep blue metallic quality to it. It's very hard to spot outside of direct sunlight. But as we can see, moving down the driver's side, keeping you really close to the panel so as to look for any dings or dents, you'll find the body is in excellent shape and the paint has a nice glossy finish. Looks really nice. You can see all of these chrome trim pieces like the door handles and the lower section here just below the door. It's largely in very nice condition. You will notice some minor water spotting on that trim but hardly affects the outward appearance and does present very nicely. Now we'll take a look at the 20 inch wheels. Beautifully finished in a nice two tone. So you have the black inner portion of the wheel and the outermost face is this kind of shaved metal look, which does pair very nicely with the subtle chrome accents here on the exterior. Tires are in excellent condition. Michelin Defenders, really nice tire, very durable. And we'll make our same inspection here at the front. You'll find no curb rash on anything here on the driver's side. And these tires, again, plenty of tread depth as you can see there. Now, looking at the front fascia of the vehicle, headlights are in crystal clear condition, no oxidation or scratching. You will find they look very nice. You will see minor, minor wear marks in the clear coat there on that headlight, only visible from certain angles. As you can see here on the front fascia, a little bit more chrome to be seen, but it's all in very nice condition. Again, very minor water spotting to be seen there, but largely presents beautifully. Looking on the lower portion of the bumper, you'll find it's free of any major rock chipping. The paint is all in wonderful condition here at the front. And it does a great job of tying into the wheels and the other bits of chrome and silver trim like you see there on the roof. Now here on the passenger side, taking a look at this wheel here, nice condition as well, no curb rash to report. And same goes for the wheel here at the rear. Now again, I'm gonna take you very close to the panel. In direct sunlight on this vehicle, you will notice minor swirl marks here and there, just very light, light swirl marks that are associated with regular use. Certainly no sign of excess damage. Looks very nice. And here at the rear of the vehicle, looking at the tailgate, I love how they went for a largely clear tail light arrangement as opposed to a nice big red tail light. Small red reflectors as is necessary, but the remainder are all clear, which I think cleans up the look back here, especially with the black exterior. See this little chrome panel here, housing that Forerunner badge, and also, you see those up and down arrows, that actually controls this rear window, as you may know on the Forerunner, the rear window is actually electric, and you can drop it down like any other window in the vehicle, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, and that's a really nice feature when you have all four windows down on a summer day and the wind is blowing through the cabin, really feels fantastic. See here on the lower portion of the bumper, that nice towing package, and the spare just behind, with a nice tire with great condition. Chrome trim across the lower portion of the rear bumper is also in great condition. And as you can see, that plastic panel just at the load floor is in very nice condition, no gouging. I always point this out with SUVs because it's one thing you really should look at uh, when looking at a vehicle. It shows the previous owner took good care when loading cargo. As you'll see a lot of SUVs, that panel is gouged and really beat up. And that kind of gives you a look into the previous owner's philosophy on caring for their vehicle. Now making our way inside. Of course, this has keyless unlock. You just leave the key in your pocket, it'll open up. Taking a look at the seating arrangement, the seats are in just remarkable condition. You can see just uh, the most minor fraying on that stitching, really nowhere at all. Pardon the glare from the sun. As you can see, both bolsters, where you'd expect to see the most damage, look phenomenal. Really nice leather upholstery here in the Forerunner. Of course, being the limited package, it is anointed with the more desirable options in the whole lineup. Nice solid door closed. This feels like a very quality vehicle. We're going to start it up 
one touch operation on that push button. If you're into Toyotas, you'll be familiar with that nice fan noise as the vehicle starts up. It's a very substantial power plant that we'll check out in just a moment. Looking here through the interior, if you see that screen flickering, it is only due to the camera's effect. That screen functions exactly as intended here to the human eye. See, it does have a nice high definition backup camera fitted as well, hidden in that tailgate. You also have a lot of useful apps and information, like you can check weather reports, traffic, live data, and make calls, Bluetooth audio, all of the necessities that you would expect in a 2018 and up vehicle. You'll notice all of the controls throughout the center control stack still hold their original text and are in wonderful condition. Looking down into the climate controls, it's no different. You'll see individual temperature adjustments for both of your occupants here at the front of the vehicle. And all of the switches have their original text, as I mentioned. Looking a bit lower, of course, you do have your audio inputs, USB or 3.5 millimeter aux jack. You can see heated and cooled front seats, which is a phenomenal option. This really is a vehicle intended to be enjoyable all throughout the seasons here in New England. Whether it's the coldest or the warmest days, this vehicle is going to provide you loads of utility and just really unrivaled comfort uh, in the Toyota lineup. It's very nice in here. Looking at the steering wheel, all of the controls are in equally nice condition to the rest, as you can see. Nice perforated leather with solid leather on the top and bottom portions, all of which is free of any grime or wear. It all looks very nice. Very attractive gauge cluster as well with those blue accents and the red needles looks very good. Here on the left side, you have your basic controls you would expect, one of which includes the power outlets, which you can power on, which we'll explore in just a moment. This vehicle is also fitted with the JBL premium audio stereo, which sounds phenomenal. And as I always say, having a really quality stereo does a great deal to contribute to a nice driving experience. Before I hop out, actually, I would like to show you down here in the center console area you do have this window switch where as i mentioned before the rear window one touch operation all of the windows in this vehicle are automatic so one touch it drops down and when you drop down all the rest of the windows and open up this beautiful sunroof the air just flows through the cabin almost feels like a convertible i know it sounds strange but it really does also auto up on all the windows and it operates exactly as intended that is perfect so now let's make our way under the hood and we'll take a look at the 4 liter V6 engine. Now if you're anything like me, when you hear the words Toyota and 4Runner together, two things come to mind, one of, one of which is value retention. These vehicles are a phenomenal investment to make, especially in today's car market. But the other one is dependability, and a great deal of that is due to this beautiful 4 liter V6 engine. These engines are known to be largely bulletproof, very, very impressive reliability, ease of maintenance, and availability of parts. It's really a fantastic package to be found in such a useful utilitarian vehicle. Now, as you can see here, looking throughout the engine bay, it's remarkably clean. We'll look at all the plastics here, like the engine cover, this front panel here, and looking a bit deeper into the engine, even look at those metal surfaces. As you can see, the head there, valve cover, all of the hose connections. I mean, the hose clamps don't even show any sign of corrosion. Get all of the brake assembly here, battery, terminals. I mean, remarkably clean. For a vehicle that is so known for getting you through the worst snowstorms and getting you up to the ski mountain on those tough days, it's really nice to find one that has been so well preserved over the years, especially mechanically. And that engine, worth noting, is still going to get you just above 20 miles per gallon on the highway, which pushing a vehicle of this stature is not a bad figure. Now let's make our way to the second row of seating. As you can see here, trying to hide the glare from the sun, all of your rear seats look just phenomenal. Really nice condition. All the stitching is held up nicely and just loads of leg room. I also really like to point out when manufacturers put equal effort into the front and rear you know comfort and you know amenities these door cards are anointed beautifully with some stitched leather everything you touch feels very nice now keep in mind i have not adjusted the front seat from where i initially was recording a moment ago and as you can see being six foot four i still have a good probably 10 inches of legroom 
between my knee and the seat ahead of me. Very, very impressive space here in the back. And this will give you a really nice view of that front cabin. Really, really nice condition. Very spacious. All of the controls feel nice in the hand. Very little to complain about here in the Toyota 4Runner. So next up, I'm going to make my way to the rear. And we'll take a quick look at the storage capacity and third row seating. So here at the rear, it is not an automatic tailgate. But it certainly feels like when you just lift it a couple inches and it takes care of the rest without a hassle. Those pistons are working exactly as intended. And of course this tailgate weighs a little bit more because it has that automatic window you know, actuation built into it. So it's nice to have some solid struts here to assist you. Now, taking a look at the condition back here, you can see all of the plastics look phenomenal, very nice condition. Here in the corner, you do have that JBL Premium Audio Stereo uh, subwoofer that I had mentioned before, really contributes to a nice punchy bass, and it's a lot of fun hanging out with your friends, listening to music in the Forerunner, it feels great. You also have a real wall outlet, as you can see just there, as well as a traditional power outlet you may find in a vehicle. You do have a nice rubber mat covering the carpets in the third row seat backs here, as well as the original rubber all-weather mats from Toyota with the Forerunner emblems you can see there. So next up, I'm going to take all this out of the back and give you a quick look at the third row seating arrangement. Be right back with that. All right, so as you can see, I've deployed the third row of seating, which really comes right up against the back of the vehicle. As you can see, this seat moves forward, providing ease of access to the third row. I also scooched that other a uh, couple of seats forward to show that these are actually on a track that can be adjusted while they're upright. So while this seat would usually be in this position as they were before, should you that adjustability, you can adjust them back and forth for more or less legroom, pardon me, for your third row passengers. Ease of operation, as you can see, just one tug of this lever, this whole seat assembly slides forward. And as you can see, really nice condition on the third row seating as well. No different here at the far back. Actually, very nice seating for third row. It is all leather wrapped. It feels great to touch. No wear on the seats whatsoever. And they easily stow back away, quite easily. And this seat, as I mentioned, stows back in place nice and easy. And I can just reach over, slide this seat back in place. No problem at all. Really, really usable vehicle for the whole family. And as you can see, these seats drop down quite easily. Do need to pull this tab to drop down the headrests and then very easily stows away and you're ready to load up some cargo again, no problem. So if you have any further questions related to this 2018 Forerunner Limited, please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you will find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.